The Intimate Hotels of Barbados group is reporting success in its online marketing strategies, even though they've been coping with the challenge of reduced funding. Speaking during the group's annual general meeting, Chairman Kashka Haynes says their online presence through TripAdvisor, along with social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, have been effective. He has also urged members to regularly update information about their hotels on their websites. All research is showing that travelers' preference for searching on mobile devices has increased exponentially, and we therefore must realign the IHB website to accommodate this reality. We need a new website, but our funding simply does not allow for it. In the interim, however, the board has agreed to make some less costly, short-term, but hopefully effective improvements to the site. Meanwhile, the group's board says that in 2014, there was a reduc reduction in funding provided from $300,000 to $200,000. Finance officer of the Enterprise Growth Fund Limited, Ferdinand Strawn, says due to the limited funding, the loan agreement may need to be restructured. He says for members to fully benefit, they must submit their financial reports. We also feel it is very important to provide us with financial information so that we can have an idea, you know, how your businesses are performing and I guess basically structure the, well, restructure the loans if so required when, when the final decision is made. Some companies may be facing stiff penalties as Barbados moves closer to implementing the Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act. Manager of Policy and Planning, Anthony Gittins, says institutions like debt collection agencies, insurance companies and banks may have to fork out thousands of dollars if they fail to submit the required information ahead of the deadline each year. He was speaking at the BRA's FATCA public consultation at the Lloyd Erskine Sandiford Center. If you fail to submit your initial return by the deadline of July 31st in 2016 and onward, or August 15th of this year, or to submit your revised return by the date identified, you face a penalty of $50,000, and for each day that the breach continues, $5,000 per day. Mr. Gittins also disclosed, disclosed that the BRA will face penalties as well if it fails to submit information to the U.S.-based Internal Revenue Service on time. The Barbados Revenue Authority must transmit for the previous year ending December 31st the information to the IRS by September 30th. And we too face a penalty of $50,000 if we fail to submit. We therefore must get that information from you so that it can be checked. If there are any errors, it will be returned to you. We will not, we cannot change your information as submitted. Here's a look now at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. 